We're gonna program the Intermatic 880R. First thing we do is we'll go ahead and factory reset it like that. We've got a toothpick and the reset button. You can also unplug it from the wall and remove the single AA battery out of there with a Phillips head screwdriver. First thing to do after that, when we're ready to program it, is we're gonna hit date time next. And that's gonna start our uh, programming the current date and time. The year is flashing. And hit the plus button to go to the current year. Hit your next, takes us to the month. It's March. Next, we're gonna go to the date, which today is March the 1st, so we don't need to go anywhere. Uh, daylight savings time, we are in a state that uses daylight savings time, so we're gonna hit the plus button to go to auto. Some states don't use it, you would just leave it off. Next, we're gonna set the current time, which is 1241, so we'll do just the hour. It was it started at 12 a.m. midnight, so we'll go up to 12 p.m. Hit next, and I'm gonna go the short way and use my minus button to go down to 41. Plus or minus works, it just cycles through all the way. Um, now once we're on 12.41 p.m., that's accurate, so we'll hit next. We are in the central time zone, so I'll hit my plus button. Next. It's showing me the current dusk and dawn times. This AM is dawn. Um, so that's what it's set up for the time zone I told it for central right now. That's pretty accurate. It's about half hour before, half hour after uh, sunset and sunrise is when you want your lights to turn on and off. Um, so that's okay. We'll leave it alone. We'll hit next, showing us the PM time. And that's what that sun and moon is. It's just showing that it's a dusk or dawn setting. It's up to you to recognize AM or PM for the dusk or dawn part of it. Uh, but yeah, 5.54 p.m., that's fine for turning the lights on. It's a little before dark. Hit next again. Now we're at our home screen, and our current date and time is set. All we have to do now is program our events. We only need one on event and one off event. There are seven options, well, seven ons and seven offs. We only need one on and one off. We'll skip the rest. One on we do want to mess with this, so we're going to hit next, and you'll see your date is flashing. Your day of the week is flashing. I'm going to hit minus a couple of times until all seven days are flashing. You can set it up Monday, Tuesday individually. You can set it up Monday through Friday, or you can set up just a weekend schedule. Um, with landscape lighting, we just do the same thing every single day, Monday through Sunday. When that's ready, you hit next. Now we can set a specific on or off time. We'll set our hours and our minutes separately, but what we want to utilize is the dusk and dawn, which is already there. So if we hit minus, it takes us all the way to the back and that's 554 PM sun and moon flashing. Good to go. We'll hit next again. You'll see the dates flashing. This is all set. Hit your next, I'm sorry, hit your set on off events button again. Now we're at one off. We want to program that, so we'll hit our next button. Our date's flashing. We want them to turn off every day, just like they turned on every day. Hit minus a couple of times. There you go. We'll hit next again. If I wanted my lights to run dusk to midnight, they would be set right here, 12 o'clock a.m., Monday through Sunday. That's when they're going to turn off. If I wanted them to turn off later, like 1 a.m., that would be fine. If I wanted to turn off more specifically at 1.30, I would hit my next button again, and my minutes will start to flash. And then I can specifically change those minutes to whatever I wanted, uh, and it's a specific time. Notice there's no sun and moon there. This is the time it will turn off every day. Uh, whether it's daylight or dark, whatever it is. So if you set it specifically to go off at 5.30 a.m., and it's still dark at 5.30 a.m., that won't change anything. What you need is we'll go back one more time to where we're flashing with our hour. We'll go to the back and we'll go to our dawn time, sun and the moon. And if you're on the hour, if your hour's flashing, just use your minus or plus button and you'll cycle through you know, uh, midnight through noon and then noon through midnight again. Um, and then at the very back end, you'll see your two options for your dusk, dusk and dawn are always right there. 
but we want to be setting our off time at the a.m. sun and moon already programmed for you. Now that's done. We do not need any more programs. We do not need to on. We do not need to off. If you hit your reset or took out your battery, everything's going to have these dashes, meaning there's not program. If you didn't do that and you're cycling through here, if you see anything going on these screens here, hit that delete button and it'll clear it back out to dashes. Um, if you have a program Monday through Sunday on number one and then on number four, you randomly have an off time, you know, at 3 a.m. on Wednesday, it'll turn your lights off at 3 a.m. on Wednesday. They'll, they'll interrupt each other. So you want to make sure you don't have any additional programming going on. After seven off, we'll hit it one more time. Now we are at our home screen. The final thing you need to make sure is that you are in the correct setting once you have programmed your timer and set up your on off events. So what we do here is we say select function. Right now, it is currently off. Lights will never turn on. Off auto. The lights are off and they will turn on and turn off at their next programmed time. So if I go and work on your lights during the day and I leave, I'll leave them in the off auto position and they will turn on at dusk. Let's hit our select function again. RDM, it stands for random. It's not a function that we use. Make sure random is not showing up, whether it says off or on random. Just skip by that guy just says on here nothing else the lights are on permanently it's flipping a switch up and they're just on programming does not uh, take anything into account there on auto means they are on and they will turn off at their next automated program time so i guess the key feature to remember here is no matter what's going on auto needs to be showing up in the bottom right hand corner evening time is on auto daytime is off auto So now we're good to go and uh, as soon as our next dusk time pops up as it goes through they will automatically turn on auto and then when that dawn time rolls around they'll switch back to off auto so long as you make sure that your sun and your moon is accurate and your AMs and your PMs are accurate and you're flashing all seven days of the week on your program on and off you're good so long as there are no additional programs set, you're good. And so long as your date, 1247 p.m. Monday, you're good. And of course, the daylight savings time pops up um, when it needs to, depending on whether or not we're in daylight savings time. That will automatically adjust for you an hour forward or an hour back in the spring and fall. And that's it.